You don't want the National Security Advisor to be in a position to What's up, Sammy? My name is Ken! And this is happening, apparently. He is going to be Senator Rock. Yes, he is! And he's already being backed by a major politician! Captain Mr. Talk, how are you? Hi, good, how are you? We ran into former U.S. Senator and former New York Governor George Pataki. How do you feel about Kid Rock potentially running for the Senate? I think it's great. I think Republicans need to reach out to a broader constituency. Kid Rock helps with that. Kid Rock is going to win up there. Where is he running? He's running to Michigan. Kid Rock mullet hair is not going to win. Since when has bad hair ever stopped a politician? Exactly. Do you think people can, can respect them and take them seriously? Uh, they should. Hear that, America? Wacky Pataki says it's time to take Kid Rock seriously. It's a joke. Oh, hey, Herman Cain. Not feeling Senator Rock, huh? That's a joke. You're, you're, really? He's not going to get elected. Not a chance. You're crazy. They said that about Ronald Reagan, dude. Kid Rock is not Ronald Reagan. Al Franken is a senator in Minnesota. Al Franken went to Harvard. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, ooh, oh, it's the number one university in the world. Not world. 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 The globe. Oh, yeah, I didn't stutter. And you also didn't get it right, because Oxford's number one. Guess we should have expected that sort of misinformation from a number six rated school alum. Good luck, future Senator Rock. So Kylie Jenner, she finally got her wax uh, figure over at Madame Tussauds in Hollywood. Can you guys guess which one is the real her? Here's another photo. In true Kylie Jenner fashion, she actually FaceTimed her whole entire family, put the filters on from Snapchat, and fooled everyone. It's spot on. The black dress is her. That's the uh, fake one, right? On the right. The silver dress, yes. How many photos are going to be just dudes behind it and humping it? Oh, uh, all of Every them. Every time I go to a wax museum, there's always a dude that stands behind one of the chicks and humps it. What Every single time. Wait a minute, seriously? Yes! Nicki Minaj's one. Nicki Minaj's one was that, um, the one where she does the, the, the booty anaconda. one. The anaconda. The anaconda one, and everyone would just get out, go up behind a booty like that. Get out. Oh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you boys seriously will have sex with the Annie? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a dad now, and your little girl can grow up to be anything. Doctor, lawyer, or Kelly's alleged sex slave, it's up to you to guide her. Joycelyn Savage is basically saying that her dad, Tim, is the reason why she has been living with R. Kelly. Hi, this is Joycelyn Savage. Hi. Yeah, in a new video obtained by TMZ, Joycelyn, one of R. Kelly's uh, house guests, slams her dad for going to the media with the allegations of kidnapping and abuse. You need to stop. Because right now, I am fed up with everything you are doing. You are embarrassing me and the whole entire family. Honestly, you know the situation that had happened that night when I went to meet R. Kelly. She's saying that her dad encouraged her to live with R. Kelly back when she met him at a concert and said this would be really good for you to be under his wing and learn the ropes of singing. But her father meant for like three or four months. Not two years, but still, Joycelyn seems cool with it. What is different from this as opposed to a hundred other starlets who take up with big stars? The difference will be if R. Kelly really is restricting these women. If he's holding them captive, it's kidnapping and it's a crime. Thanks, Harv. That law degree sure came in handy. If he didn't hold them captive, it's Hollywood. So ladies, come to Hollywood! But hang on, how do we know Joycelyn and the others have free will? Every major holiday, we need videos from them. Like, hey, we're celebrating Thanksgiving <laughs> together. Hey, it's Christmas at R. Kelly's. What more do you want? Joycelyn was in a park yesterday. What more do you want? In the park. She's in the park this time. Well, maybe Tuesdays they go to the park. Wednesday, it's hide and seek in the mannequin maze. That's meant to be a joke, but who knows? Thanks, Joycelyn. Please stop what you're doing. Please. Yo, Julian. Julian Edelman, he was leaving Catch, and we talked to him about his uh, college teacher recently just sent him a letter apologizing to him because one day in class, 
Julian Edmond made a comment how he wanted to be in the NFL one day, and the teacher like scoffed at him and was like, "You gotta set like realistic dreams. Like that's never going to happen." Basically. Wow, is that true? Yeah. And then just last month, the teacher sent him a letter, being like, "I am so sorry, and I just wanted to say congratulations, and I should have never said that about your goals." So we talked to Jul Julian about it. Hey, how did it feel to get the letter from your teacher uh, apologizing for doubting your uh, NFL dreams? It was pretty cool. Yeah. Nice. He is so handsome. He's working that flannel. Uh, Julian Edelman or uh, a Blake Griffin? Julian Edelman. He has no kids. Wait, I thought Edelman did have a kid. He does have a kid, I thought. He has a little girl named Lily. Oh, then Rob Gronkowski. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
So Ryan's like singing along with them, doesn't really know the words. No, I won't. Shed a tear. Be afraid. Be afraid. No, I won't. Be afraid. Just sit alone as you stand. Stand by me. But it was cool though because he put it on uh, his social media. It's also kind of a sign that maybe he is doing American Idol. No, it's a sign that he's new to New York because if you live in New York, you hate those guys that sing on the subway. Ryan's like so entertained by it and you're like... People get discovered on like the trains and the subways though. Hey. It happens. So I was working for a show. Yeah. We found our drummer from the subway. And what's he doing now? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Find me. Help me out, New York. And now, sure you can dress up in blackface if you want, but you might get punched in the face at LAX, starring Killer Mike! Well, how's it going, bro? That's mega rapper slash producer Killer Mike, the guy who once made an entire album out of cat sounds. No, he really did. We're guessing Jennifer Aniston's a big fan. I love this guy. He's one of the best voices out there right now. And as an outspoken activist on African-American issues, Mike's the perfect person to talk about that dumbass on Big Brother. Who had said that he was going to dress up blackface to make fun of another Big Brother housemate who was black. What? There's no way someone would say that on national TV. With my black mask on? Don't say anything to anyone. It's kinda hard when you're in front of a hundred cameras, dude. I think like the producer should step in. Um, nah, that's what you wanna do. You, I mean, the, there are consequences that come with that, you know? Diane didn't say there are any consequences for your freedom of speech, so if you walking through LAX and get punched in your face for doing that, it happens to I love Killer Mike, but he's wrong about this. He's so right about this. Somebody wants to make a racist comment, you should be able to walk through the, the, the airport and not get punched in the face for it. He is not advocating that somebody get punched in the face. He's just saying somebody is going to be so angry that you're likely to get punched in the face. Yeah, just as this guy has the right to say what he wants, this guy has the right to punch someone in the face and suffer the consequences if he so chooses. I'm not for taking people's right to do stupid Exactly! He's allowing people to opt to speak their mind or their fist. He's just not advocating it. Well, I mean, if he does it, if he does it, he deserves to get punched in the face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, he's advocating it a little. Good to see you, Killer Mike. Y'all be good. Okay, so early, earlier this week, a bunch of memes went viral in China of uh, people posting, basically comparing the president to Winnie the Pooh. So there was like this one with the Japanese. There was one with uh, President Barack Obama. And so basically the government banned all posts of Winnie the Pooh on any social media or any website. Why? What? Because they were comparing like the president to Winnie the, so Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. I'm confused because you said they did that with Barack Obama. One of the examples was a, per a picture of Barack Obama with him. Barack Obama oh, Barack Tigger. Obama and, with yeah, and oh. Winnie the Pooh. So Barack it's Obama's Tigger. Oh, God. Oh, boy. <laughs> that is great. That was, a, that was an odd call. <laughs> Tigger is fun-loving and smart. You want to be Tigger. No, Tigger's not smart. The brains of the operation is Piglet. Oh. <laughs> he just sprinted her, dude. Why do you think the big sense of water? <laughs> <laughs> to pay child support. Danielle Bergoli, her dad pays $1,100 child support a month, and he feels that now she is such a big celebrity, he does not want to have to pay for it anymore. Yes, Papa Outside says Danielle's flush and wants to terminate his child support. This is awful. Can he win that? No. Yes. What? There's a material change in her income. The money that Danielle makes is Danielle's money. And if the mom's not getting any of the money, then the mom still is needy. What if the reality is that Danielle is not paying the rent? What if the reality is the mom's getting a cut because she's her manager? Then Papa Cashme has a shot. And speaking of shots, he took one at Danielle's mom saying she's exploiting the minor child as a celebrity for the child's bad behavior. The dad's kind of a hypocrite in this because on the one hand he says I don't have to pay and the other hand he's saying it's disgusting that Danielle's mom is taking her down a path where she's getting rewarded for bad behavior. 
Seems fishy, yeah. But as far as the payments go, child support can be tricky. If Oprah has a baby with Stedman and they break up, does yeah. Stedman have to pay Oprah child support? Yeah. Yes, the answer is yes. No! Wait, really? Yeah, why would he pay Oprah? We all know who's raising that kid. Cashy on the rebound! Hey, how are you? We got Teresa Caputo in Washington, D.C. She's a Long Island medium. Oh, the Long Island medium. Yes, she's leaving the airport, and it's really cute. There's a fan from the Ukraine who's so excited to see her. How are you? Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. Pleasure, pleasure. I'm thank so you. happy to see you. Uh, Just to touch you. Where are you from? So um, she's leaving, and we talked to her about, um, do you ever, you know, you speak to people from the dead. Do you ever talk to celebrities or any politicians? And from our angle, the sky seems clear, so that's why this like video is very eerie. So once we asked that, she was, listen, I don't talk about religion or politics. Did you hear that? Just, God's I, saying. I just, God's I just saying. heard thunder. I just heard thunder. See that? It is kind of weird. It is really weird. Yeah, it's like clear blue sky. It's super clear out. It's really, really, really creepy. What if she carries her own like thunder sound effect? Or she just like. <laughs> She's got a boom box. <laughs> Thank you, so take much. care, nice right. to see you. We're TMZ, if you like our vibe, click on that button and hit subscribe. We'll send you more!